This is a special report from ABC News. Uh, for those of you who may have just gotten home, police in Los Angeles now believe that white car at the head of that car chase is the car they have been looking for. Hey, calm down, Juice, okay? Just calm down. Why are you calling me Juice? And stop telling me to calm down. The Emmys start in five minutes. If I'm late, don't let Tom Bergeron host. Do you understand that? I like Tom Bergeron. Everyone likes Tom Bergeron. That's the point. Wait, are you going south? You got to turn around. We're going south. I can't do that. That would be an illegal U-turn. Oh, come on. I am not going to be an accomplice to a traffic violation. Fine. You know what? Let me out right here. Just pull over and let me out. Hey, Thanks a lot, Theo. Hey, dapper stranger. Need a lift? You put a drifter in the van with the kids. He's not a drifter. He's wearing a tuxedo. Wait. Are you a hobo magician? No, please, please, say, please no. say no. No? Do you like magic? That's a dumb question. Obviously, do. Hang on real quick. Check this out. Got these smoke bombs. No! Oh! so much i have to get to the emmys oh not a problem the absolute least i could do you know i'm going myself anyway this is congratulations you know. oh, thank you very First much time, and huh? to you yeah yeah that's great oh this is that's right cheer the bug Come on. What? You gotta sing in the car, Jimmy. I this don't is how it goes. Really? You put the boom boom into my heart. You set my soul sky high when your loving starts. Cheer the bug into my brain. That's right. Bang, bang, bang. Till my feet do the same. Here we go. Something's bugging me. Something ain't right. My best friend told me when you did last night. Get out of the car. What do you mean? It's it's terrible. Get out. Wake me up! I voted for Beyonce! Please, I need a ride. Oh, Congressman. He's not a congressman, he's a comedian. Well, that's the same thing. It's Jimmy Kimmel. Huh? Mm. It is such an honor to meet you, Madam President. Oh, thank you. You know you're one of three presidents nominated tonight. Uh -huh. To you, President Underwood, and LBJ. Oh, LBJ. <laughs> that was my nickname in my high school Spanish club. <laughs> so... Who's hosting tonight? Oh, we are so pleased that you're hosting tonight's Academy Awards. It's the Emmys. The Emmys? Oh. There's plenty of room up front. Oh, thank you. You're a lifesaver. Thank you. Hey, you're driving? Yeah, I'm in between jobs right now. You know you can make $12 an hour driving for Uber? I did not know that, but that's great. I have to get downtown to the Emmys. Are you nominated? I am, yeah. Wow. What's that like? It's nice. It's nice. You think you can win? Well, there's a lot of competition, and... Uh... Probably not. Well, here's what I know. If you run a positive campaign, the voters ultimately will make the right choice. You know, it's funny you say that. My psychic... Jimmy, that was a joke. Get out of the car. And shave that wig off your face, you godless Hollywood hippie. Jeff, exclamation point. Oh, heavenly Oprah, if you can get me to the Emmys, I promise I'll never take a kid's Halloween candy again. Never mind. Thanks for the ride. How do we fire this baby up? Jimmy, the dragon 
Vampire C. Dracaris. Dracaris. And that's it for E's coverage of the 68th annual. Before we get started, just give me one moment, if you would. Where is Jeffrey Tambor? <laughs> Jeffrey? There you go. Oh. All right. Okay. Good. All right, that saved us 22 minutes. What else? The rest of you, if your show doesn't have a dragon or a white bronco in it, go home now. I'd also like to acknowledge the winner of tonight's Plus One contest, uh, Sarah Paulson, who played Marsha Clark and actually brought Marsha Clark with her tonight. That's, that's a guess. <laughs> because everyone in L.A. knows if you want to win, sit next to Marsha Clark. <laughs> Hi, Marsha. This must be very strange for you, right? I mean, are you rooting for O.J. to win this time? <laughs> the whole gang from the show is here. John Travolta is here. Welcome back to television, John Travolta. We're happy to have you. So, quick question for you. If you win, are you going to thank O.J.? I mean, how do you handle that? Technically, you wouldn't be here without him, right? Especially you, Cuba. Cuba Gooding Jr. was so good in The People vs. O.J. Simpson. He played, he played O.J. so well, I now believe Cuba may have done it. <laughs> Tonight is the night we come together <laughs> to celebrate all the amazing shows we'll never get around to watching on television. Glorious television. Television has the ability to make us laugh, and cry, and during certain key parts of Game of Thrones, masturbate, it... Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Jon Snow. Hi, Jon Snow. You're my freebie, you know. I'm so glad they brought Jon Snow back to life. Uh, that was a nice surprise. After 68 years, television still manages to surprise us. I never imagined my favorite TV mom would be Louie Anderson. But he is. Louis plays... If you haven't seen him, he plays Zach Galifianakis' mother on the show Baskets. You know, originally, they were going to cast a woman for the role, but it's very hard to find an actress over 50 who needs a part, so they went to Louis. <laughs> Fortunately for everyone in this room, there are more shows and more roles than ever before, and more diversity than ever before. This year's nominees are the most diverse ever. And here in Hollywood, the only thing we value more than diversity is congratulating ourselves on how much we value diversity. We, the Emmys, I'll tell you, the Emmys are so diverse this year, the Oscars are now telling people we're one of their closest friends. <laughs> we're not, by the way. But in all seriousness, uh, this is a very positive thing, and I think we need to stop and take a moment to appreciate how far we've come. In fact, if you are a person of color in our audience tonight, especially if you're a nominee, please, Find a white person right now. Go ahead. It shouldn't be hard. There's, I see a bunch of them right here. Just take a moment to reach out and say thanks for your bravery. There you go. Make a rainbow connection. I think we'll... Isn't that beautiful? Wasn't that nice? Television brings people together. But television can also tear us apart. I mean, if it wasn't for television, would Donald Trump be running for president? No. He would be at home right now, quietly rubbing up against his wife, Malaria, while she pretends to be asleep. <laughs> Many have asked, who is to blame for Donald Trump, the Donald Trump phenomenon? And I'll tell you who, because he's sitting right there. That's right, that guy. <laughs> Mark Burnett, the man who brought us Celebrity Apprentice. Thanks to Mark Burnett, we don't have to watch reality shows anymore because we're living in one. Thank you, Mark. 
Thank you for coming all the way from England to, uh, to tear us all apart with your intricate plot. It worked. <laughs> you sneaky little crumpet muncher, you. <laughs> Who do you have lined up to fill the spot on the Supreme Court, Miley Cyrus or CeeLo? <laughs> I'm going on the record right now. He's responsible. If Donald Trump gets elected and he builds that wall, the first person we're throwing over it is Mark Burnett. <laughs> The tribe has spoken. One other little piece of business. We're going to do things a little bit differently this year. Uh, we have a new rule. This year, for the first time ever, you must be present to win. If we call your name and you are not here to accept, the Emmy goes to the next name on the list. It's called the Maggie Smith rule. And this, if you don't know, is Maggie Smith. She's been nominated for the Emmy nine times. She's won the Emmy three times. How many times do you think she's shown up here to get the Emmy? That's right, no times. <laughs> this year she had a Sunday ceramics class that she couldn't get out of. <laughs> when Maggie Smith hears she's nominated for an Emmy, she has the same reaction the rest of us have when we get those 20% off Bed Bath & Beyond coupons in the mail. <laughs> right in the garbage. And she goes to other award shows. She go showed up at the Oscars to get an Oscar. She showed up at the Tonys. She goes to the Soul Train Awards every year. <laughs> But is she here in this audience tonight? Well, I don't see her. She's Downton absent is what she is <laughs> for the ninth time. What is wrong with us? Why do we keep nominating this woman? She's treating us like the People's Choice Awards. I have a message for you, lame Maggie Smith, if you're even bothering to watch. If you want an Emmy, you better hop on a plane right now and get your dowager count ass over here. <laughs> All right, are we ready to make the Emmys great again? Okay. Let's give some pointy trophies out. What do you say? Here to present tonight's first award, which means they are that much closer to getting blackish out drunkish. Please welcome Emmy nominees Anthony Anderson and Tracy Ellis Ross. Stop it. Stop it. <clears throat> so, Tracy, how do I look? Oh, you look pretty good. Was, uh, was, was pretty good. Uh, Denzel, pretty good. Oh, well, not, not, not exactly. Oh, oh, you mean Idris, pretty good. Okay, I got it. <laughs> okay, okay, it's, okay a little, it's a little too far. How about somewhere like between, hmm, oh, Tracy Morgan and Will Smith? Oh, okay, I'll uh, take that. Okay, uh, okay. Closer to Will Smith, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, babe, you look um, Anthony Anderson amazing. That's what I'm talking about, okay. baby. Give it to him. The nominees for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series. Louis Anderson, Baskets. Andre Brower, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Keegan-Michael Key, Key and Peel. Ty Burrell, Modern Family. Titus Burgess, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Tony Hale, Veep. Matt Walsh, Veep. And the Emmy goes to... for Louis Anderson. been a very good man, but I play one hell of a woman. <laughs> this is for my mom, Orizella Anderson, who I stole every nuance, shameful look, cruel look, loving look, passive-aggressive line. I really thank her. 
my father, Louis W. Anderson, my brothers and sisters, Kent and Val, Rianne Mike, Roger and Nettie, Mary and Jean, Jimmy and Jackie, Shanna, I know, and, Ro and Red, Lisa and Tim, Sheila and Ben, Ellie and Leela, Tommy and Billy, all the Academy members, to Amos and Tina, uh, to Glenn and Eve, to Joni, to Louis C.K. and Zach Galifianakis for calling me for the part, for Jonathan uh, Kreisel for so deftly uh, guiding me through this wonderful performance, um, to uh, my uh, basket family, Anna DeCusa, Jason, John Landgraf, and the FX family, especially the publicity department, John, Susan, Tom, and Lana, the Gersh Agency, Rick Greenstein, and, uh, or Greenstein, I always get it wrong, to Christine and Grayson, and finally to Abraham Geisness for always loving and believing in me, even when I could not love and believe in myself. God bless you guys. God bless you so much. celebrate the best television of the year. Live from Los Angeles, it's the 68th Emmy Awards. The 68th Primetime Emmy Awards on ABC, brought to you by the Audi R8. Live to drive. Welcome back to the show. Oh, there are so many beautiful faces in the audience. There really are. Everybody, please take your seats. This is an important event. Uh, I forgot to mention two of the biggest stars on television, Terrence Howard and Taraji P. Henson, who are, uh, are they here? Are they, in the, yeah, where are they? Oh, there they are. Hi, guys, how you doing? You know, Taraji, at this point, you could probably drop the P. Are there other Taraji Hensons you're being confused with? <laughs> Just, you don't have to decide now, but let me know before your intro, okay? <laughs> All right, here to present the Emmy for Outstanding Writing for a Comedy Series, Julie Bowen and Matt LeBlanc. As actors, we know the importance of writing in television. That's why whenever an actor wins an award, he or she always thanks the writers first. Of course, we keep the trophy. <laughs> yeah, because writers don't care about trite crap like that anyway. They're smart. They actually have books in their bookshelves. We like shiny stuff with our names on it. The nominees for writing in a comedy series are... <laughs> Catastrophe, Episode 1, written by Rob Delaney and Sharon Morgan. Master of None, Parents, written by Aziz Ansari and Alan Yang. Silicon Valley, Founder Friendly, written by Dan O'Keefe. Silicon Valley, The Uptick, written by Alec Berg. Veep, Morning After, written by David Mandel. Veep, Mother, written by Alex Gregory and Peter Hike. And the Emmy goes to... Aziza, Aziza Ansari and Yang. Master of None. This is the first Emmy win for multiple nominees, Alan Yang and Aziz Ansari. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Thank you. Take care. Thanks. Congratulations. Wow, uh, thank you very much to everyone who worked on the show, our amazing cast and crew, uh, Universal and Netflix, uh, Cindy Holland, Ted Sarandos, uh, jo uh, Bob, J uh, Jen, Perlina, Bella, um, and most of all, thank you to my family. I love you guys so much, and you were the inspiration for this episode. Um, there's 17 million Asian Americans in this country, and there's 17 million Italian Americans. They have The Godfather, Goodfellas, Rocky, The Sopranos. We got Long Duck Dog, so we got a long way to go. But I know we can get there. I believe in us. 
It's just gonna take a lot of hard work. Asian parents out there, if you could just do me a favor, if just a couple of you get your kids' cameras instead of violins, we'll be all good. So, we'll just do it. Oh, it's done. I don't know. <laughs> wow. Now there's almost too much diversity in this show. I don't... Here to present the award for supporting actress in a comedy. Two very clean-cut people. It's almost like they're not even human at all. Please welcome Joel McHale and Kristen Bell. Unfortunately, lead actors and actresses can't have every line of dialogue, Whoa. no matter how many tantrums we throw. There must be glue or human spackle holding together an ensemble and making everybody look better. Wait, if those people are human spackle, then what does that make us? Oh, we're the leads, Kristen. So we're monsters. <laughs> All right. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. Kate McKinnon, Saturday Night Live. Nisi Nash, Getting On. Gabby Hoffman, Transparent. Judith Light, Transparent. Allison Janney, Mom. Anna Klumsky, Veep. And the Emmy goes to Kate McKinnon. All Sarah. right. This is Kate McKinnon's fourth nomination for her role on Saturday Night Live. It's her first Emmy win. <laughs> um. <sighs> That's not, okay. I am really crying. <laughs> I'm not making up. Um. <laughs> I. <laughs> Thank you to the Academy so much. Uh, good sentence. Uh, thank you. <laughs> so I can't, this, is, this is really crazy, you guys. Thank you to Lauren Michaels for giving me uh, the job of my life and um, to the amazing crew at SNL. You know, it's really hard making uh, 90 minutes of sketch comedy every week for 42 years, so uh, thank you to the, my amazing colleagues, the cast and writers, who are the smartest, uh, best people I know. Um, uh, yeah, I'm shaking, guys. Thanks, Fred, Brian, Melissa, Lauren. Thank you especially uh, Chris Kelly and Sarah Schneider. Thank you, Ellen DeGeneres. Thank you, Hillary Clinton. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Helen. And um, just uh, on a personal note, thank you to my beautiful and hilarious mother and sister and to my uh, father, who's not with us anymore, but he made me start watching SNL when I was 12. Uh, so thank you, and uh, I miss you, Pop. Okay. Okay. Coming up on the Emmys on ABC. The 68th Primetime Emmy Awards on ABC. Brought to you by Samsung Pay. Turn your phone into your wallet. Please welcome Randall Park and Constance Wu. This year, for the first time, the Creative Arts Emmys were held over two nights. Wow, that makes uh, three nights of Emmys. So I guess that means fresh off the boat, we'll get our award on the fourth night. Let it go, Randall. OK. The Creative Arts Emmys recognize technical and artistic achievement in television, as well as this year's nominees for guest actor and actress in a comedy series. For guest actor, Bob Newhart, The Big Bang Theory. Peter Scolari, Girls. Tracy Morgan, Saturday Night Live. Larry David, Saturday Night Live. 
Bradley Whitford, Transparent. Martin Mull, Veep. For guest actress, Laurie Metcalf, The Big Bang Theory. Christine Baranski, The Big Bang Theory. Tina Fey and Amy Poehler, Saturday Night Live. Melissa McCarthy, Saturday Night Live. Amy Schumer, Saturday Night Live. Melora Hardin, Transparent. And the winners were Peter Scolari, yeah, and Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. And now, please welcome Peter Scolari to present the next award. Hi, thank you very much. I am Peter Scolari. I check backstage. So happy to be here uh, tonight to announce this incredible category. Uh, I did a little research and, and found out that in, in the origins of the Emmy, the, the Emmy is named, it's interesting, uh, for the Image Orthicon. That's something, it's a, actually a, a camera tube uh, back in the early days. Sounds to me more like a personal problem. <laughs> I just want to say to nominees uh, here tonight, thank you. <clears throat> I'll wait. To nominees here tonight, I've been nominated uh, a number of times, very lucky to have won this year. Uh, no matter what happens tonight, whether you win or lose, when it's all said and done, you'll, uh, you'll still have your personal problems. <laughs> <laughs> here are the nominees for directing for a comedy series. Master of None, Parents, directed by Aziz Ansari. Silicon Valley, Daily Active Users, directed by Alec Berg. Silicon Valley, Founder Friendly, directed by Mike Judge. Transparent, Man on the Land, directed by Jill Soloway. Veep, Kissing Your Sister, directed by David Mandel. Veep, Morning After, directed by Chris Addison. Veep, Mother, directed by Dale Stern. Wow, and the, uh, the Emmy goes to Jill Soloway for Transparent. This is the second Emmy win and ninth nomination for multiple nominee this year, Jill Soloway, who is also nominated for producing. She brought home her first Emmy last year for directing an episode of Transparent. Uh, people ask me if it's hard to be a director, and I tell them, no, life is very hard. Being a good partner, being a good mother, um, being a good person is hard. Being a director is so I get to just make my dreams come true. It's a privilege, and it also creates privilege when you take women, people of color, trans people, queer people, and you put them at the center of the story, these subjects instead of the objects, you change the world, we found out. We found out. Um, so I want to thank you, my sweet Jeff Bezos, because you changed the world. And you invited me to do this thing that these people call television, but I call it a revolution. I've always wanted to be part of a movement civil rights movement, the feminist movement. This TV show allows me to take my dreams about unlikable Jewish people, <laughs> queer folk, trans folk, and make them the heroes. Thank you to the trans community for your lived lives. We need to stop violence against transgender women and topple the patriarchy. Topple the patriarchy. I'm trying to figure out if topple the patriarchy is a good thing for me or not. <laughs> I don't think it is. You know, a lot of people wonder what Transparent is doing in the comedy category because it's a pretty, I mean, they have Nazis and stuff on the show. You have to understand, uh, Transparent was born a drama, but it identifies as a comedy. <laughs> Our, 
our next presenter won uh, a Peabody Award, so he's automatically better than everyone in this room. He's actually grossed out to be here with us tonight. So please welcome Keegan-Michael Key. <laughs> I am honored to be presenting the award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series. The nominees are an incredibly talented, eclectic group who all share a few things in common. They're all wonderful, they're all smart, they're all sexy, and they all bring something to their roles that is uniquely their own. The nominees are Ellie Kemper, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Amy Schumer, Inside Amy Schumer. Julie Louis Dreyfus, Veep. <laughs> Lily Tomlin for Grace and Frankie. And Laurie Metcalf for Getting On. Tracy Ellis Ross for Blackish. And the Emmy goes to Julie Louis Dreyfus, Veep. <laughs> This is the fifth consecutive Emmy win in this category for Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Over her career, she's won eight Emmys and had 22 nominations. Thank you so much. I want to thank um, the Academy. I'd like to thank HBO, Casey Bloys, Mike Lombardo, and Richard Plepler, whose friendship has been demonstrated to me in extraordinary ways, particularly this week. I'd like to thank Dave Mandel for letting me trick him into running the show. <laughs> Dave, you're a miracle worker, and I'm forever grateful. Really. I'd like to thank my pal, Frank Rich, who helped me trick Dave Mandel. <laughs> and then Frank Rich and Dave Mandel and I tricked Morgan Sackett to help produce the show. I'd like to thank our spectacular writers and directors, our ridiculous cast, and I'd especially like to apologize to the best crew in television. The hours that you work on our show are unforgivable. Um, while I'm apologizing, I'd also like to take this opportunity to personally apologize for the current political climate. Um, <laughs> uh, I think that Veep has torn down the wall between comedy and politics. <laughs> Our show started out as a political satire, but it now feels more like a sobering documentary. <laughs> so I certainly do promise to rebuild that wall and make Mexico pay for it. <laughs> um, lastly, i like to dedicate this to my father, William Louis Dreyfus, who passed away on Friday. And I'm so glad that he liked Veep because his opinion was the one that really mattered. Thank you. Emmy winner, Jeffrey Tambor. Thank you. It, um, they took back the Emmy, by the way. <laughs> um, it seems appropriate that tonight uh, we celebrate comedy. We, we remember a legendary stand-up, fantastic Emmys host, a great real late-night host, a great fake late-night host, a great fake late-night host who David Duchovny was sexually attracted to, he was happy with his poor vision because he said it meant he could date anybody. <laughs> anyway, I could tell many, many of my favorite jokes about Gary, Gary Shanley, whom I miss very much. <laughs> but I think it's better to let him do it. So Gary, hey now. You know, I shave one leg, so when I'm in bed, it feels like I'm with a woman. 
And the woman never gives you a clear signal that it's okay to come on. Isn't this true? And I need a clear signal. I need a woman with flashlights going. <laughs> He had the most innovative TV show in two different decades. That's called a legacy. How do you decide what's great in bed from what, what's good in bed? I mean, is it is size matter? Because, <laughs> no, you know, I have a king size bed. Peter Tolan and Gary Shanley. Winning and losing is not important. Being nominated. Oh, Gary, is... Gary, we, we we won. Oh, we won. Oh, thank God. Okay, yeah. Oh, being nominated means nothing. <laughs> Hey, I heard you got rid of Stevie Grant. Did? Yeah. His behavior was so detestable. Did that work? What'd I say? You said his behavior was detestable. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> I meant despicable. Yeah. Hey, uh, can I have some fruit? Yeah. Appreciate oh. it. That material is purely a vehicle for you to express your spirit and your soul and your being. My mother screwed me up with relationships. My mother is the one who actually wants to marry me, you know, that's the truth. I know that sounds <laughs> really sick. I actually once told a therapist that, and he just looked at me and did something I'd only seen blackjack dealers do. He looked at me and went... I just wanted to see what you guys would do. <laughs> All right, our next presenter is a triple threat. He sings, he drives, he sings while he drives. Please welcome the most distracted driver in Los Angeles, James Corden. <laughs> Good evening. Jimmy Kimmel, everybody, what an incredible host. Thank you for having me tonight. It's uh, an honor to have been invited. These performances have all given incredible, these performers have all given incredible performances this year. The nominees for lead actor in a comedy series are William H. Macy, Shameless. Thomas Middleditch, Silicon Valley. Anthony Anderson, Blackish. Will Forte, The Last Man on Earth. Jeffrey Tambor, Transparent. Aziz Ansari, Master of None. And the Emmy goes to just the greatest man you could ever meet. It's Jeffrey Tambor for Transparent. This is the second consecutive Emmy win and eighth nomination for Jeffrey Tambor. Before the Larry Sanders show, he made numerous guest appearances on Taxi, Kojak, MASH, The Golden Girls, and Three's Company. What they take away. <laughs> um, may I be very, very clear about something? There is no best actor. All right? Um, um, I'm so I'm so honored to be in this category with these these artistic killers. Thank you guys. Thank you for your lessons. Um, to Jill Soloway, you changed my life, um, and you changed my career, and you changed everything. Um, I'm old. Um, uh, to this wonderful cast, this would be a much lesser Mora were it not for your genius. Um, to my teachers, yeah, you do it. Van Barnes, Reese Ernst, Zachary Drucker, Jenny Boylan. You taught me and you gave me more. To my friends at Amazon for their talents and their guts, Roy Price, Joe Lewis, Jeff Bezos, who took my hand last night and said, call me Jeff Bezos. Um, to uh, Peter Biznetsky, I don't know his name, I can never do it, but this guy at Amazon kills, 
and he is the reason I am holding this trophy. To uh, Leslie, my agent, to Joan, uh, Leslie Siebert at Gersh, uh, and uh, uh, Joni Burstein, and to uh, Emma and Terry, uh, Emma Burton, Terry Bailiel, and Marie Schley, you made me look great. Now listen to me. I'm not going to say this beautifully. Shush, shush, as my father would say. Sheket Bavakasha. I'm not going to say this beautifully, but to you people out there, you producers and you uh, network owners and you agents and you creative sparks, please give trans transgender talent a chance. Give them audition. Give them their story. Do that. And also, one more thing. I would not be unhappy were I the last cisgender male to play it female transgender on television. We have work to do. I love you. Hi, Joe. Welcome, America Ferreira and Mandy Moore. Whether physical competition or a talent show, a reality series can lead to fortune and fame. And maybe even the White House. And that's not a joke, that's just what's happening. So, Tim Gunn, 2020. <laughs> Here are the nominees for Outstanding Reality Competition Program. The Amazing Race. American Ninja Warrior. Dancing with the Stars. Project Runway. Top Chef. The Voice. And the Emmy goes to... The Voice. The Voice has six nominations this year and 30 career total. This is the third Emmy win in this category, second consecutive. Accepting the Emmy on behalf of the team from The Voice is Mark Burnett. Thank you so much. I want to let you know that Hillary Clinton called me in the last few minutes that I would personally thank Jimmy Kimmel for an extra free five minutes of ABC network publicity for Donald Trump. Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> On to The Voice. Academy was so grateful to win again. We really, really love making this show. Thank you to NBC for Bob Greenblatt, Paul Telegdi, Meredith R, Shelby Sheftel for continuing to make it every year. But really, I have to thank the people on this stage. I'm holding the trophy. These are the guys that actually make the show. Amazing, amazing team. And by the way, Tomorrow night, we are back with Miley Cyrus and Alicia Keys, your next Supreme Court Justices. <laughs> How can there be this many producers for that show? That Emmy is going on the hood of Trump's limousine, isn't it? <laughs> All right, very good. I know these shows are long, and I know a lot of you haven't eaten since Labor Day, so <laughs> I have a little surprise for everyone. Uh, this is my mother. Uh, mom? Hi, Mom. Yeah. Hi, that's my actual mom. What are you making, Mom? Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And how many sandwiches have you made? Just about 7,000. So my mother made 7,000 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Is anyone hungry right now? Okay. Let's bring in the kids from Stranger Things to pass the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches out. Come on in, kids. There they are. 
They're gonna be distributing them. I'll be distributing some too because we have a lot of stuff to, to hand out. There you go, very good to see you, Jane. Oh, there you go, Tina, that's for you. Amy, that's for you. Thank you there. Oh, good to see you. Hi there. There you are. There you are. Some of the bags have names on them. There you go, Amy. You. That's for you. Oh, Anthony Anderson's mom is here. How are you? My mom made food for everyone. All right. There you go. Anthony, here's yours. Very good. Okay. All right. Oh, by the way, I should ask. Does um, anyone, raise your hand if you have a gluten allergy. <laughs> okay, I just want America to see which of their favorite celebrities are the most annoying. <laughs> oh, also, if you're allergic to peanuts, uh, well, I guess this is goodbye because we only have one, we can only afford one EpiPen. Okay, we need to take a snack break, but we'll be right back with everybody's favorite part of the show, the accountants. Thanks, Mom. Please welcome Andy Sale, John Ninden, and Paul Chin, the accountants from Ernst & Young, and Leslie Jones. For the past 28 years, it's been our job at Ernst & Young to tabulate and protect the Emmy results with security and reliability. We implement numerous precautions to safeguard the results until the envelopes are opened on stage. Thank you so much, Ernst & Young. I don't know who this third dude is, but I really appreciate all of the hard work you do. But let's be real. Y'all protected something that nobody is trying to steal. <laughs> don't nobody want to know about boring Emmy secrets. Okay, but since you good at keeping things safe, I got a job for you. My Twitter account. <laughs> Put that in the boat, please. Y'all over here using your skills to protect best voiceover in a French sitcom? Meanwhile, I'm butt naked on CNN. <laughs> I just wanted to feel beautiful, y'all. <laughs> Can a sister feel beautiful? Come on, let's go. The stars of Scandal, Kerry Washington and Tony Goldwyn. <laughs> it's hard to joke about writers, because next week your character may wind up with nothing to say. Or in a season-long coma. Or dead. And sometimes, writers have to deal creatively with an actor's real-life situation. What kind of situation are you talking about, Tony? Nothing. Mm. So, <laughs> to all the writers out there... Especially ours. You are amazing. The nominees for Outstanding Writing in a Limited Series Movie or Dramatic Special are... Fargo, Lop Lop, written by Bob De Laurentiis. Fargo, Palindrome, written by Noah Hawley. The Night Manager, written by David Farr. The People vs. O.J. Simpson American Crime Story from the Ashes of Tragedy, written by Scott Alexander and Larry Karaszewski. The People vs. O.J. Simpson American Crime Story, Marsha, 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 written by D.V. DeVincentis. The People vs. O.J. Simpson American Crime Story, The Race Card, written by Joe Robert Cole. And the Emmy goes to... D.V. DeVincentis, The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. This is the first Emmy win for D.V. DeVincentis, who is also nominated for producing The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. It's really heavy. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> um, I want to thank the Academy and to my and my dear friends uh, Nina Jacobson and Brad Simpson who saw how this story could be a vessel of larger ideas and for including me in the small wonderful group that wrote it um, <clears throat> who I also bow down to please Scott Larry Joe uh, I share this with you guys I'm gonna keep it in my house but I share it with you guys um, <clears throat> thanks to the brave and brilliant FX John Landgraf and Gina Balian and company um, and to Dana Walden Gary Newman for all of those people's faith and support um, I owe everything including this to my family Sally Pierre Sarah Jeff Francis Phoebe and to Zoe and to all my close friends who know who they are and to Blair Dan Darren and most of all thank you so much Ryan Murphy for willing this into being with grace and confidence thank you so much <laughs> for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Limited Series or Movie. Melissa Leo, All the Way. Gene Smart, Fargo. Olivia Coleman, The Night Manager. Kathy Bates, American Horror Story Hotel. Sarah Paulson, American Horror Story Hotel. Regina King, American Crime. And the Emmy goes to Regina King, American Crime. This is the second consecutive Emmy win and nomination for Regina King, who has added directing to her list of credits, including directing episodes of Scandal and The Catch. Okay, this is fantastic. And Tony and Carrie, thank you. Um, oh, I am so proud of this show, so proud to be a part of this show, to have the opportunity to tell stories that provoke conversation, necessary conversation. John Ridley, you are a genius. Thank you for including me in telling your story, being a part of that the most amazing cast and crew. I love you guys. I love you guys. I stand here and I'm holding this for every cast and crew member from Austin to Los Angeles. Teamwork makes a dream work. Um, mom, what a blessing. I get to share this with my mom, my wonderful, beautiful mom. Uh, I love you, Ian. Thank you, ABC for having the guts to have us on this sh uh, on your network. And um, this rocks. This rocks. Everyone, everyone enjoying your snacks? Everything, James, did you get a juice box? There you go. All right, you get a juice box? Oh, hello, how are you? There you go. David, yeah. juice? Yeah, yeah. Juice? <laughs> juice? <laughs> Should I stop now? Okay, all right. Okay, very good. John, would you like a juice? There you go. Enjoy. You know, my mom usually writes notes in... Uh, did she write notes in the bags? Did you get a note, Cuba? I also got juice. You got juice? Great. Oh, yeah, you really did. What do you got here? Dear Cuba, loved you in Snow Dogs. <laughs> Your mom doesn't get to the movies much. Yeah, no, no, we all did. We all loved you in Soda. Kisses and hugs, kisses and hugs, Joan, Jimmy's mom. Yeah, that's her, all right. Okay, everybody else okay? Amy, are you eating your note? What's going on here? You ate your note. I, I, I was hungry. Oh, my God. That's really, it's too much, Amy, really. What does it say? Can you even read it anymore? It's a juice box. You would like a juice box? There you go. Thank Enjoy. Thank you. Take the whole thing. Okay. It's really just a prop. Dear Amy, you're the funniest woman on television. I wish you were hosting the Emmys this year. <laughs> I'm your number one fan. Bring back Parks and Rec. <laughs> oh, 
intended for you. All right. Oh, sorry. All right. Here to present the Emmy for Outstanding Directing for a Limited Series Movie or Dramatic Special, please welcome Priyanka Chopra and Tom Hiddleston. The most prestigious and talented directors in the world made their mark this year on television. Here are this year's nominees for Outstanding Directing for Limited Series, Movie, or Dramatic Special. All the Way, directed by Jay Roach. Fargo, Before the Law, directed by Noah Hawley. The Night Manager, directed by Suzanne Beer. The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story, from the Ashes of Tragedy, directed by Ryan Murphy. The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story, Manna from Heaven, directed by Anthony Hemingway. The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story, The Race Guard, directed by John Singleton. And the Emmy goes to... <laughs> Susanna Beer for the night manager. This is the first Emmy win and second nomination for Suzanne Beer. She's also nominated this year for producing the night manager. Thank you. Oh my God, I'm gonna forget everyone. Thank you, the Academy. Thank you, John Le Carré, for, for this fantastic material. Thank you, um, Stephen Simon Cornwell, Stephen Garrett, um, Missy Malcolm, CAA, um, Robert Keneally, a amazing crew, fantastic DOP, fantastic costume, fantastic music. Um, production design, just an amazing, amazing crew, and not the least, my wonderful, outrageously interesting casting cast, Tom, um, Hugh Laurie, Olivia Coleman, Elizabeth De Biggie, Tom Hollander, and uh, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm trying to remember to hold my belly in. <laughs> all are memorable, all believable. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Limited Series or Movie. Jesse Plemons, Fargo. Joaquin Woodbine, Fargo. Hugh Laurie, The Night Manager. David Schwimmer, The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. John Travolta, The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. Sterling K. Brown, The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. And the Emmy goes to... Sterling K. Brown, The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. This is the first Emmy win and nomination for Sterling K. Brown.
Love you. All right, so uh, I was talking to Melania Trump this morning. I was asking her, if I win, what should I do? What should I say? I don't know Melania Trump. Look, um, thank you to the Academy. A lot of you may not have known who I was, but you checked the box anyway. And that makes me very, very happy. Um, to the communities that have supported me up to this point in my career, there's a lot of people in St. Louis making a lot of noise right now. Mama, I can hear you. I love you. Sterling Brown Jr., I changed what people called me to age 16 so I could hear your name every day of my life. I love you, Daddy. <laughs> to my extended family at Stanford University, stand up, chocolate cardinal in the house. To all my journeyman actors in New York City and my friends and faculty there, I love you. <sighs> Dana Walden. Gary Newman and everyone at Fox 21, thank you. John Landgraf and FX, thank you for hiring me twice, sir. I appreciate it. Second time was a charm. Um, goodness gracious, I'm blanking. Okay, to my directors and writers, thank you for the roadmap and the guidance to get through this performance. To my producers, specifically Brad Simpson, Nina Jacobson, and Ryan Murphy, thank you for giving a brother a chance. Lastly, um, I was a, sort of a polygamist during this whole thing. I have three sister wives, big love style that I have to recognize. Sarah Catherine Paulson, I love you. Where you lead, I just tried to support. Jen Wiley Stockton, thank you for 16 great years, my dear manager and friend. Can't wait for the next 16. And contrary to popular belief, I got the hottest chick in the game rocking my chain. Ryan Michelle Bathe, you make this whole thing go. I love you. Thank you. again tonight, Claire Danes and Brian Cranston. The nominees for lead actress in a limited series or movie are Audra McDonald, Lady Day at Emerson's Bar and Grill. Lily Taylor, American Crime. Felicity Huffman, American Crime. Kerry Washington, Confirmation. Sarah Paulson, The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. Kirsten Dunst, Fargo. And the Emmy goes to Sarah Paulson. This is the first Emmy win and sixth nomination for Sarah Paulson. She's also nominated tonight as a supporting actress for her role on American Horror Story Hotel. one of those mouth wedding drops and now I can't feel my face so this is a problem uh, thank you I love you too a great big thank you to the Television Academy for this enormous honor uh, I am so uh, stunned to be sharing the category with so many extraordinary actresses some of whom are my friends a uh, big thank you to John Landgraf everyone at FX Dana Walden Gary Newman everyone at Fox 21 the matchless pair that is Nina Jacobson and Brad Simpson our gifted writers our brilliant directors our fearless crew this incredible group of actors, these magicians, I want to share this with each and every one of them. There was a unique alchemy between us, and I know how special that is. Sterling K. Brown, if I had more time, I would never stop extolling your virtues. Suffice it to say, I am holding this because of you. Now, the responsibility of playing a real person is an enormous one. You want to get it right, not for you, but for them. 
The more I learned about the real Marsha Clark, not the two-dimensional cardboard cutout I saw on the news, but the complicated, whip-smart, giant-hearted mother of two who woke up every day, put both feet on the floor, and dedicated herself to righting an unconscionable wrong, the loss of two innocents, Ron Goldman and Nicole Brown. The more I had to recognize that I, along with the rest of the world, had been superficial and careless in my judgment, and I'm glad to be able to stand here today in front of everyone and tell you I'm sorry. Wait. Ryan Patrick Murphy. I owe you everything. It was because you thought I could that I even dared. You have been the most tried and true boss man, collaborator, mentor, and most importantly, my beautiful friend. You changed my life. And Holland Taylor, I love you. Thank you. With 22 nominations, The People vs. O.J. Simpson is the one to beat. But will there be an upset in this highly contested race? We need to turn up the pressure. Pressure? You want to turn up the pressure? This city is about to explode. We have enough pressure. The Emmy for Outstanding Limited Series when we return. What a night for O.J. so far, huh? <laughs> I wonder if he's having a viewing, viewing party with the, <laughs> the rest of the guys. Uh, our next presenters won an Emmy together last weekend, and one day they will be buried together, too. Please welcome Amy Poehler and Tina Fey. <laughs> A week ago, we became the first women to share an Emmy for a guest actress in a comedy series. Yes, I think it goes, goes like this, goes like this. And unfortunately, I was unable to attend that event because I had my daughter's birthday in New York. And I didn't go because I thought you turkeys were trying to trick me again. <laughs> but we are thrilled to be able to share this honor. There are so many people to half thank for mm. this award. Um, I'd like to thank the top half of my agent, uh, of course, we want to thank half of the cast and crew and writers of SNL uh, because the other half went to see Star Wars about four times the week we hosted. Um, I know who you are. And now, here are the nominees for lead actor in a limited series or movie. Idris Elba, Luther. Tom Hiddleston, The Night Manager. Benedict Cumberbatch, Sherlock, The Abominable Bride. Cuba Gooding Jr., The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. Courtney B. Vance, The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. Brian Cranston, All the Way. And the Emmy goes to... Courtney B. Vance. This is the first Emmy win and nomination for Courtney B. Vance. He received a Tony Award for his featured role in the play Lucky Guy. Glory to God! Ryan Murphy! Nina! Brad, thank you. To my fellow nominees, thank you. Cast and crew, directors, thank you. To my manager, Steven Siebert, who introduced the idea to me, thank you. To my mother, ALS, in bed, three years. To my sister, Cecily. To my uh, assistant, Anita, thank you. To my children, Bronwyn and Slater. Education is the key, thank you. And last but not least, to the woman that rocks my chain. Angela Evelyn Bassett, this one is for you, girl. Obama, Hillary in. He was so great in that. 
I have to believe that Johnny Cochran is somewhere smiling up at us tonight. <laughs> Too soon? TV movies have changed a lot since I was a kid and John Travolta was a boy in a plastic bubble. In my opinion, they're not as good, but here to give out an Emmy anyway from Bloodline and Downton Abbey, Kyle Chandler and Michelle Dockery. Television movies have always tackled provocative issues. Providing us with some of the most memorable and entertaining moments in the history of our media. This year's nominees for Outstanding TV Movie are... A Very Murray Christmas. All the Way. Confirmation. Luther. Sherlock. The Abominable Bride. Sherlock. Sherlock, the abominable bride masterpiece, received six nominations this year. Accepting the Emmy on behalf of the team is Stephen Moffat. Um, well, uh, thank you to the BBC, whom we love above all bakery. British people will get that. Um, uh, to uh, Masterpiece on uh, PBS. Yeah, got it. Um, and a, a, a list of people I would like to thank in some detail now. But I'm not going to, because it's been a long night, and they're all British. So I'll just go home and phone them. Uh, one last thing I need to really say, and the one person I am going to thank uh, is my wife. For the best reason of all, not only does she rock, whatever that was, but uh, <laughs> she actually produces the show, so uh, I'll win best wife, all right? <laughs> okay, thank you very much, and we're very happy. Goodbye. Emmy nominees, Leah Schreiber and Carrie Russell. Whether we knew how they would end or not, they all grabbed our attention. The nominees for Outstanding Limited Series are... American Crime. Fargo. The Night Manager. The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. Roots. And the Emmy goes to The People versus O.J. Simpson. The People versus O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story, received 22 nominations this year. <laughs> Thank you to uh, John Landgraf at FX for being a leader of inclusion and supporting all types of storytelling. To Dana Walden who made this happen. To Peter Rice and Gary Newman and Bert Salke. To Joe Cohen who pushed this through. To Brian Lord and Kevin Uvane. This has been a true collaboration from the PAs to the head department heads. Everyone in the crew felt like they were working on something special. I want to thank every person's spouse who worked on the show for putting up with this, including my lovely wife, Jocelyn. I want to give a shout out to my, my wife, Jen, and my mom. How about this band, everybody? I mean, this is Steve Jordan, John Mayer, every one of these musicians is a great musician. 
And to reward them, we put them in a hole. But uh, thank you, fellas. Our next genre features many wonderful programs, including six talk shows that are hosted exclusively by white men. This genre is the ironically titled Variety. <laughs> Hello. I, uh, that was a little weird earlier. I, I just wanted to thank my parents that are here. Uh, they inspired that episode for me. And um, they acted in the show, too. My dad, very upset about his snub. Um, but he'll be okay. Uh, we're at the Emmys, folks. But look, it's an election year, and I want everyone to know that after careful consideration, I've decided I'm going with Trump, uh, which is why I'm also recommending we get rid of all Muslim and Hispanic nominees from the ceremony immediately. Uh, wow, this would be so much easier if we were at the Oscars. Um, Mom, Dad, I know I just thank you, but you need to be escorted out right now. I'm so sorry. Uh, America Ferrara, nice try changing your name to America. You're not fooling anybody. You're out. And you know what? Let's get Tambor out of here and open up that best comedy actor category. All right, the nominees for writing for a variety special are... Amy Schumer, Live at the Apollo. John Mulaney, The Comeback Kid. Patton Oswalt, Talking for Clapping. Tig Notaro, Boyish Girl, Interrupted. Are you kidding me? Triumph's election special, 2016. What does it take to become a reporter for YouTube other than rejection from every other news outlet? <laughs> and the uh, Emmy goes to the nicest guy, Patton Oswalt, talking for classes. This is the first Emmy win and nomination for Patton Oswalt. God, I... I, I didn't uh, prepare a speech. I didn't think I was gonna win. I'm, I'm not kidding. Um, oh, I wish I brought that juice box. Um, Everyone, everyone in my category are people that I'm a fan of, and the only reason that I did anything that was good enough to get nominated was <clears throat> because I have peers, um, uh, Tig and, and, and Amy and, and John and, and Hannibal and, and Robert Smigel that, that make me work harder at what I do. So thank you guys. Thank all of you so much, so, so much, everyone in my category. Um, I, you know, there's two people I want to... Uh, I want to thank everyone at Netflix, everyone in the Television Academy, uh, my brother Matt for uh, trending on Twitter like an idiot during the show, um, <laughs> my, my manager Dave Rath, Boots Riley from The Coup, and uh, I want to share this with two people. One of them, my daughter Alice, is waiting at home. The other one is waiting somewhere else, I hope. So thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Before Kit and I present our award, we want to ensure that we get put in the commercial for next year's Emmys. Yeah, they always cut together a punchy sound bites from last year's Emmys to show how fun it's going to be, and well, we want in on that. Yeah, so we're just going to throw out some quick sound bites for next year's Emmys ad. Here we go. <clears throat> now it's a party. I came here in a limo. Talk about a tapeworm. I'm seeing more stars tonight than my dumb nephew with his crap telescope. Good. <laughs> no, I won't kiss you, Kyle Chandler. Yes. I will kiss you, Kyle Chandler. <laughs> the night of needs more white people in their cast, and someone has to say it. <laughs> but there's something else I want to celebrate tonight with you, Andy. <gasps> What, kid? What are you doing here at the Emmys? I do. 
So that's good. Those are all really usable options. Yeah. We're going to have trouble choosing one trouble of those. Trouble choosing one of those. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Variety Talk Series. Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. I always wanted to be in a show about nothing, and here I am. You, there's nothing, nothing, more nothing <laughs> there's, than this. There's nothing. nothing. <laughs> Come on, let's go get some coffee. Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm John Oliver. Just time for a quick recap of the week, and we begin with Egypt, or as ISIS calls it, next. <laughs> the Late Late Show with James Corden. What is he doing? We're, we're not doing that scene. James. We cut that. We okay. cut this bit. Right, it's still a treat for the ladies, isn't it? Real time with Bill Maher. You know, all those new credit card chip readers have to read my chip faster. We used to be efficient shoppers. You've turned us all into the old lady who wants to pay by check. <laughs> the Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Kimmel Live. What is going on here? It's moving. No, it's not. What the hell is going oh, on here? What, what hey, is hey, this? Get, why, why are you touching me? Well, I'm not touching you. Oh. And the Emmy goes to Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. Thank you, uh, thank you. That's, uh, we flew our entire staff, just to explain that noise. Our entire staff is here from New York, and I'm guessing, settle down, children. <laughs> I think they're gonna set fire to this city tonight. Uh, they work so hard, I guess first we should thank our staff, they work amazingly hard, they work the weekends. They're blowing off steam, is what they're doing. Uh, HBO are incredibly supportive for everything we've uh, done, Plepler and Nina in particular. Uh, personally, I have to thank Tim and Liz and Diane, without whom this show wouldn't happen. Uh, on a personal level, I've got to thank uh, my wife, the hottest chain in... I don't know either. <laughs> it's a impeccably white moments on stage. Uh, and, and our son, uh, Hudson, I love you very much. And uh, John Stewart for everything. And uh, please play me off. I've never had the chance to do this before. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering when they were going to play him off. Isn't talk show supposed to be like kind of an American thing? I mean, I'm not talking about me, but just some of the other guys, you know? Coming up on the show. Terrific. Can I help you? What do you want? Well, just calm down, man. I missed the last category. Did you win? No, we didn't win, all right? And oh, that's a bummer. The uh, Emmy for that's Direct... No, that, it makes a lot of sense, but it's... <laughs> you must be really bummed out. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed. Thank you. So you're not, you're not gonna get a trophy? <laughs> no, I don't get a trophy then. Uh -huh. Are you finished? Is, you who, done? Wait, who did get a trophy? Who won? John Oliver, he was just out yes. here. What do you mean, who yes. won? Yes. They know. I knew. I had them in my pool. Do you mind if I continue with the show? No, I mean... Oh, I'm sorry. What am I doing? I'm, this is so humiliating. I'm sorry. I mean, you lost, and now you got to stand out here for the rest of the night in front of everybody. That's really... No, I mean... When you probably just want to go home and curl up and cry. I'm sorry, but let's see. Hey, can we cheer Jimmy up? How about he, he's a big loser. Big round of applause. Yeah. No, big loser. No, 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 I don't want to 
a big round of applause. I don't need pity applause. No, you're, you're not you're, a big loser. You're a, you're a pretty big loser. You're a pretty big, and I, for one, am really, I'm sorry about that. And I think everybody else here feels really sorry for you. Come here. Come on. Bring Thanks. It in, I, I really appreciate yeah. your concern. You bring it in. Okay. I'll okay. see you later at the, uh, the after party. There's an after party? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, hey, Jimmy. Yeah. Uh, tell your mom I, I like them apples. <laughs> Good one, Jason Boring. All right, let's take a commercial. I need to go throw up. Hi, everybody. Can you believe it's midnight? I was wearing a black jacket, and now, as you can see, I'm wearing a white jacket. It just goes to show you, at the Emmys, anything can happen. Uh, our next presenter is a very talented actress who made history as the first ever transgender actor to be nominated for an Emmy. Get ready to feel Laverne for Laverne Cox. Good evening, everyone. I just want to echo what Jeffrey Tambor said. Give trans talent a shot. I would not be here tonight if someone hadn't given me a chance. Thank you, Gingy Cohen. And here are the nominees for directing for a variety special. Beth McCarthy Miller, Adele Live in New York City. Chris Rock, Amy Schumer Live at the Apollo. Louis J. Horvitz, 58th Grammy Award. Thomas Kale, Alex Rudzinski, Grease Live. Lynn White, the Kennedy Center Honor. Khalil Joseph, Beyonce Knowles Carter, Lemonade. And the Emmy goes to. Hmm. Thomas Kale and Alex Rudinsky, Greece Live. This is the second Emmy win this year for Thomas Kale and Alex Rudinsky. Their first was for producing Greece Live. We are so proud to be part of a lineage of making live television all the way back to Playhouse 90. So thank you to the good folks at Paramount, uh, to, to Dana and Gary at Fox for giving us this opportunity and, and for letting us take a, an opportunity to, to put the campfire back in the middle of American homes. So thank you for that. Uh, to Amy at Paramount, to, uh, to Mark Platt, to Greg Sills, Zach Woodley, Amazing Choreography, to our writers, Greg and Brett, um, to Tom Kitt, uh, three exceptional individuals I have to shout out to, my AD, Carrie Havel, technical director, Eric Becker, who's in the truck tonight, and my lead stage manager, Gary Hood, wonderful agent, Alex Hartley, and our wives as well for putting up Yes, and that cast and crew. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. I wouldn't want to be those guys when Kanye finds out they beat Beyonce. <laughs> Our next presenter is that Hollywood rarity, a Damon with actual talent, here to present the Emmy for Variety Sketch Series, Damon Wayans. William Shakespeare once said, there is no comedy more pure than a variety sketch TV series. <laughs> Come on, people. He was born in 1564, no TV. But if there was, he would have said it about these nominees. <laughs> Documentary Now, Drug History. Inside Amy Schumer, Key and Peele, Portlandia, Saturday Night Live. And the Emmy goes to Key and Peele. Key and Peele received seven nominations this year. 
bringing the show's overall total to 18. Congratulations, brother. Wow, thank you so much. This is, uh, this is crazy. Yeah, everybody get up here. Uh, we, got it. we have to thank uh, Comedy Central for putting this show on the air. Um, everybody over there, uh, there's a, lo a lot of people to name. Kent, Gary, Tara, Monica, um, Michelle. Kent, Kent and Jim and every, every, oh my God, Damon Wayans Jr., J Damon Wayans Sr. <laughs> just gave us this award. Uh, we want to thank uh, the Television Academy for, pl for voting for us. This is just absolutely amazing. We want to thank our, our writing staff and our producers and our crew. I mean, everybody, craft services, the grips, everybody, they were just amazing. Yes. Yeah, Keith Raskin. Oh, Keith Raskin, our line producer. Um, yeah, every, I mean, it just the, the crew, the family, they were amazing. It's so amazing. crazy. And of course, we want to thank everybody for watching the show, everybody for going home and sharing the show with their loved ones, their, their dads, their uncles, their, their moms, their, their daughters. Thank we you. love our, uh, our mothers, our brothers, our sisters, our family. Thank you very much. I love you, Detroit. Ladies and gentlemen, Rami Malik and Abigail Spencer. At last week's Creative Arts Emmys, awards were given in dozens of categories, ranging from choreography and visual effects to makeup and costume design. In addition, the Academy recognized these years nominees for Guest Actor and Actress in a Drama Series. For Guest Actor, Max von Sydow, Game of Thrones, Michael J. Fox, The Good Wife, Reggie Cathy, House of Cards, Mahershala Ali, House of Cards, Paul Sparks, House of Cards, Hank Azaria, Ray Donovan. And for guest actress, Margot Martindale, The Americans, Carrie Preston, The Good Wife, Laurie Metcalf, Horace and Pete, Ellen Burstyn, House of Cards, Molly Parker, House of Cards, Allison Janney, Masters of Sex. And the winners were Hank Azaria and Margot Martindale. And we are thrilled that they are with us to present the next award. They create amazing stories and characters that are original, creative, and incredibly entertaining. Here are the nominees for writing for a drama series. The Americans, Persona Non Grata, written by Joel Fields and Joe Weisberg. Downton Abbey, Episode 8, written by Julian Fellows. Game of Thrones, Battle of the Bastards, written by David Benioff and D.B. Weiss. The Good Wife, End, written by Robert King and Michelle King. Mr. Robot, Hello Friend, written by Sam Esmail. Unreal, Return, written by Marty Noxon and Sarah Gertrude Shapiro. And the Emmy goes to... Ba David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, Game of Thrones. This is the third Emmy win and 11th nomination for both David Benioff and D.B. Weiss. They took home two Emmys last year for writing and producing Game of Thrones. Uh, if the world was fair, every writer would have Miguel Sapochnik directing their episode. Uh, our brilliant actors reading their lines and, and the best producing team on the planet led by the unsinkable Bernie Caulfield producing their episode. But the world is not fair, so we're grateful to have them to ourselves. 
Uh, thank you, George Martin, for writing the books that changed our lives. Thank you to Richard Plepler and Mike Lombardo and all the good people at HBO for their support and resources to keep this giant lizard flying. Thank you to our parents for letting us have television and comic books and Dungeons and Dragons and all the other things that taught us how to do our jobs. Gretchen, Tide, and Gaiman, and Gaiman, thank you for always having our backs. Amanda, Pete, I love you so much. Uh, Molly, Frankie, and Henry, the only part of this job I hate is being away from you. I hope you forgive me. I love you all. Andrea, Leo, Hugo, I love you, I miss you, I like you. They may be gone, but their legacy will endure. Coming up, the Emmys pay tribute to the legends of television we lost this past year. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I have a quick question. On a night like this, do you ever wonder which ones of your friends didn't vote for you? <laughs> this is Bruce Rosenblum's final year as chairman and CEO of the Television Academy, which means uh, tonight at the after party, He'll definitely take one last shot at hitting on Sofia Vergara. Please welcome the outgoing and outgoing Bruce Rosenblum. Television audiences are watching more amazing storytelling on more networks and new platforms than ever before. Thanks to the remarkable creativity of hundreds of thousands of working women and men in our industry, television dominates the global entertainment landscape. Tonight, we honor writers, actors, directors, and the programs themselves. But an average television show employs over 200 people, the great majority of which are talented artists and craftspeople who work behind the scenes. Casting, costume design, makeup, editing, visual effects, and many more. There is no television without the passionate dedication of these professionals who work in anonymity other than the end credits of their shows. Last weekend on this very stage, we celebrated these craftspeople at our Creative Arts Emmy Awards. I want to bring out two Emmy winners to represent the over 350 Creative Arts Emmy recipients this year. Please welcome nine-time Emmy nominee Kat Smith, who won an Emmy for production design for Transparent, and 22-time Emmy nominee, Joe Earl, who won an Emmy for sound mixing on People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. <laughs> this was Joe's fourth Emmy win, and the first Emmy win for Kat. Congratulations. More than 60% of our membership works behind the scenes. Our Academy is proud to honor all of the Emmy-nominated individuals and programs, and we're proud to represent an industry that entertains the world. On behalf of our Board of Governors, I want to congratulate all of our nominees, both in front of and behind the cameras. You are truly the best at what you do. Please welcome Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Nominees for supporting actress in a drama series are Maggie Smith, Downton Abbey, Amelia Clark, Game of Thrones, Maisie Williams, Game of Thrones, Lena Headey, Game of Thrones, Maura Tierney, The Affair. Constant Zimmer, Unreal. And the Emmy goes to... Maggie Smith, Downton Abbey. Maggie couldn't be here tonight, so accepting the award on... No, 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 no. Uh, I'm, we're not mailing this to her. Maggie, if you want this, it will be in the lost and found. And now, here are the nominees for Outstanding Directing in a Drama Series. Downton Abbey, Episode 9, directed by Michael Engler. Game of Thrones, Battle of the Bastards, directed by Miguel Sapochnik. 
Game of Thrones, The Door, directed by Jack Bender. Homeland, The Tradition of Hospitality, directed by Leslie Linker Glutter. The Nick, This Is All We Are, directed by Steven Soderbergh. Ray Donovan, Exocito, directed by David Hollander. Okay, the Emmy goes to, you ready for this? It's very, oh, the thing fell off. It's the curse of Maggie Smith. All right, Miguel Sapochnik. This is the first Emmy win and nomination for Miguel Sapochnik. Thank you. God, I'm hungry. I don't know about you guys. Um, uh, I want to thank the Academy. I want to thank HBO. I want to thank my great support that I have in WME and Casarato March. Um, I really want to thank Fabian Wagner, my DP, who should be up here with me. He's awesome. Um, I want to thank the entire crew and the cast and producers of Game of Thrones. I really would not be here. If it wasn't for you guys, thank you very, very, very much. Um, David and Dan, thank you for your, your trust and your friendship. I really appreciate it. And finally, I want to share this with uh, two people in particular. Actually, my family, who I love. Um, but also my, my wife, my partner, my friend, um, Alex, and uh, my daughter, Sofiane, who is the best thing that ever happened to me. Thank you. Cookie Monster. You know her from Empire, here to present the award for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama. Please welcome Taraji P. Henson. The nominees for Supporting Actor in a Drama Series are Jonathan Banks, Better Call Saul. Ben Mendelsohn, Bloodline. Peter Dinklage, Game of Thrones. Kit Harrington, Game of Thrones. Michael Kelly, House of Cards. John Voight, Ray Donovan. And the Emmy goes to Ben Mendelsohn, Bloodline. Ben couldn't make it. Um, I'm going to accept it on his behalf. Um, and I'll have it at home when you get back, Ben. Thanks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Henry Winkler. Happy days, Laverne and Shirley, Mark and Mindy. I could talk endlessly about the career in television of the great Gary Marshall. We could mention his films like Pretty Woman, but to mention him only as a creator of, of entertainment would leave out 90% of the reason that Gary Marshall was one of the most beloved men in the history of our business. Oh, he created effortlessly. He had an idea. He would give it some thought. And it would come out of his mind like a genie out of a bottle. But most importantly, he was a family man. He loved his wife, Barbara, his children, his grandchildren. He was loyal. He was, had generosity of spirit and knowledge. I should know, he gave me my career. And I will tell you, 
that anybody who was lucky enough to meet him, he changed their life. Gary would always say, other people make important television. I make recess. <laughs> so on behalf of all of us, Gary, thank you for inviting us into your schoolyard. And this year, This year, we lost too many friends and colleagues whose accomplishments and contributions will never be forgotten. I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord, but you don't really care for music, do you? It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall and the major lift, the baffled king composing hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I'm going down to deal with the FCC, the Federal Clown Commission. I'm Morley Safer. Those stories tonight on 60 Minutes. I can contribute. I'm not just some trophy wife. You say I took the name in vain. I don't even know the name. But if I did, well, really, what's it to you? There's a blaze of light in it. Doesn't matter what you heard, the holy or the broken, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I think we should remember not what we lost, hallelujah. but what we've done. Hallelujah. I'm a politician. I get to have opinions. Glad I didn't vote for him. <laughs> Douglas Wambo, champagne of the underdog. My car. Rob, trust me. Go away and come back in an hour. I did my best. It wasn't much. I couldn't feel, so I tried to touch. I've told the truth. I didn't come to fool you. This is Miss Lane. I'm Jimmy Olsen. We're from the Daily Planet. And even though it all Thank you from the heart of my bottom. <laughs> This might be a weird thing to say, but that in memoriam montage kicked ass. It's gonna be tough to beat next year, it really is. And the singer was, we'll dig deep, we can do it if we work together, everybody. Tori Kelly was, uh, was really terrific, I thought. She was singing and playing along, so.
Thank you to her for doing that. All right, what do we have next? What is our next element in this exciting show? Our next presenter is a seven, uh, or eight, maybe even eight-time Emmy winner. She plays the mom in a show I can't remember the title of. Ladies and gentlemen, Allison Janney. <laughs> Thank you. Here are this year's nominees for lead male actor in a drama series. Leah Schreiber, Ray Donovan. I shot him in the head. He begged me for his life, and I shot him. Will you accept Christ into your life? I don't know how. Can you find the kingdom of God in your heart? I can't find anything. Rami Malek, Mr. Robot. Let me free him. I'm gonna break Bear out tonight. You do with your brother what you want. That's the only outcome where you got the possibility of living. Bob Odenkirk, Better Call Saul. Because you want to believe that deep down I'm some hypocrite. Let's find out. Come on down, Chuck. Roll around in the dirt with me. All your dreams will come true. Go on, do it. Go on. Kyle Chandler, Bloodline. He was supposed to be the big brother, but he came to me. I took care of everyone. I have always taken care of everyone. I'll tell you something. The day I stopped taking care of your bull, you are lost. Matthew Reese, The Americans. You want to talk about Gregory now? I have not said a word about Gregory all this time. But you still think about him, apparently. Of course I still think about him. Well, I'm sorry the man you love died, and you're stuck with me! Kevin Spacey, House of Cards. I don't know where all this is coming from, but it's extremely ungrateful given all that I have done for you. What did you do for me, Frank? This is the White House. You will call me Mr. President. And the Emmy goes to Rami Malek. Mr. Levin. the first Emmy win and nomination for Rami Malek. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Please tell me you're seeing this too. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Uh. Thank you, I, thank you to the Academy and everyone who gave me a chance to, to play this role, Bonnie Hammer and Jeff Wachtel and, and, and Chris McCumber and Steve Golan and Chad Hamilton. Um, oh, I am honored to be recognized with such a distinguished and accomplished group of actors. Um, I'm honored to stand here and represent my family and every single person who's helped me get this far. I'm honored to work with a pure visionary in Sam Esmail. I wouldn't be here without you. To uh, go to work with an absurdly gifted cast and a crew and my writers. Um, I play I play a, a young man who is, uh, I think like so many of us, profoundly alienated. And uh, the unfortunate thing is, I'm not sure how many of us would want to hang out with a guy like Elliot. Uh, but I want to honor the Elliots, right? Because there's a little bit of Elliot in all of us, isn't there? Thank you. It is my honor to present the nominees for lead actress in a drama series. They are... Robin Wright, House of Cards. Tatiana Maslany, Orphan Black. Viola Davis, How to Get Away with Murder. Jiraji P. Henson, Empire. Claire Danes, Homeland. Kerry Russell, The Americans. 
And the Emmy goes to... to Tanya Maslany. This is the first Emmy win and second consecutive nomination in this category for Tatiana Maslany. have had this written down. Um, I, I thank you so much. Um, I, uh, there are so many people I feel so indebted to. Um, Graham Manson and John Fawcett. <laughs> Love you guys. Um, thank you for this incredible dream job. Um, whoa. Um, uh, my team, Jennifer Goldhar and Steve Alexander, everyone at BWR, uh, Stephen Lynch, Catherine Alexandri, our incredible writer's room, uh, my beautiful cast and crew. I love you guys. My Tom, <laughs> my family, thank you so much. I, I feel so lucky to be on a show that puts women at the center. And um, thank you so much to the Academy. Thank you. Don't go anywhere because we have an exciting surprise coming up. Maybe even two. I don't know. They wouldn't tell me. Stick with us. We're only 95 minutes left. Welcome back. Our next presenter is an exceptionally funny man who was nominated for his work on Saturday Night Live playing Bernie Sanders. He lost. He and Bernie both lost. But one thing he does not do is complain. Here to present the Emmy for Outstanding Comedy Series, two-time Emmy winner, Larry David. Oh, look at this. Ah, look at this. I'm presenting. I'm, uh, I'm a presenter. You know, they called me a few weeks ago and asked me to do this, and uh, I have never presented before, and it, I'm grossly incompetent at most things, but, you know, I'm thinking, uh, how, how hard can it be? Yeah. Requires three skills. You gotta be able to open an envelope, read a few words, and most importantly, act like you're interested. Hey, come on, I go out on dates, believe me. I not act like I'm interested. <laughs> Nobody feigns interest like me. Tell me more about your niece. <laughs> you say she enjoys tap dancing? Oh, that's fascinating. You must send me a video. And uh, how's your cooking business? Is it true there's a shortage of chips? A chip crisis, oh, you poor thing. And when do you suppose we'll have sex? <laughs> I think my little presentation went quite well. <laughs> the nominees for Outstanding Comedy Series Blackish, Master of None, Modern Family, Transparent, Thief, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, Silicon Valley. And the Emmy goes to Veep. This is the second consecutive win and fifth consecutive nomination for Veep in this category. Veep received 16 nominations this year and has 42 to date. Accepting the Emmy on behalf of the team is David Mandel. Crap. Uh, I have a 9.30 a.m. library shift at my son's school tomorrow morning. If anyone is willing to trade with me or at home, you can just um, email me. Um, we... Uh, uh, thank you, thank the Academy. Um, 
amazing cast, writers, crew, um, just, just incredible. I want to thank my, my wife and I want to thank my kids. I was taught to write comedy by Jim Downey, Al Franken, uh, Jerry Seinfeld, and Larry David, wherever the heck he is. You're the reason I know how to write sitcoms. Um, uh, sorry. Uh, everyone at HBO, uh, Richard Plepler, that's my parking ticket. Um, <laughs> Although, actually, if they could bring car 150 around, that would actually get things moving. Um, sorry, I'm terrible. I want to thank Armando Inucci for creating this show. Um, I want to thank Casey Bloys for thinking of me, and then everyone at HBO, Amy Gravitt, Richard Plepler, Mike Lombardo, uh, all of the various divisions of HBO, some of Cinemax, thank you. Um, I want to thank my agent, Richard White's Instagram, uh, my beloved, my beloved Ken Richman. And I get to work with this amazing cast, these amazing writers. Um, but this show is so good, and I know it sounds like we work a lot of hours, but this should be an easy job because I get to work with Julie Louis Dreyfus, who just makes it easy. And I love you. And thank you. Um, uh, who didn't forget me, buddy? I love you all. Um, this is for chubby Jews from the Upper West Side, um, wherever you are. Right, thank you. Maybe they still have libraries. This, um, hey, the party's almost over, and guess what? The cops are here to break it up with the final Emmy of the night. They have five of them between them from NYPD Blue. Please welcome Jimmy Smits and Dennis Franz. <laughs> Now, if you would have had a short sleeve shirt on or a raincoat, I would have said you look very familiar to me. Yeah? Well, Ipsa this, Bobby Simone. Franz! Yo, Smith! Franz! Yeah! All right. It is our honor to present the final Emmy of the evening. And here are the nominees for Outstanding Drama Series. Downton Abbey. The Americans. House of Cards. Homeland, Better Call Saul, Mr. Robot, Game of Thrones. And the Emmy goes to Game of Thrones. <laughs> This year, Game of Thrones received 23 Emmy nominations and now has an overall total of 106. This is the show's second consecutive win in this category. Accepting the Emmy on behalf of the team is David Benioff, who won earlier tonight for writing. So do we. Um... We're standing up here because, because we have the best producers in the business, led by Bernie Caulfield, uh, Chris Newman, Frank Dolger, uh, Lisa McAtackney, Brian Cogman. Uh, we have the best cast that's, I think, ever been assembled um, from, from Wales, from England, from Ireland, wherever Conleth is, from <laughs> Scotland, wherever Rory is, from Wales, and from New Jersey. <laughs> We're standing up here because uh, George Martin uh, created the world that we all now live and play in. We are standing up here because HBO, uh, Richard Plepler, Mike Lombardo have uh, graciously kept the lights on. And we're standing up here because of the greatest, hardest working, craziest crew in show business that in a few hours is about to go right back to work in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Bite ye, Belfast! 
Uh, from, from A Operator, Sean Savage, uh, Props Brian, Scripty Linda, Armor, Tommy Dunn, uh, Camilla, our horse mistress, Lisa on playback. We are lucky as hell to work with the best. Amanda Pete, it's our 10th anniversary in a week. Um, 10 years of nonstop fun. I love you so much. Uh, Frankie, Henry, Molly, I, I love you three so much, and I'm so sorry I'm going away next week, and, and I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Andrea, Leo, Hugo, you're the reason I get up in the morning. I love you all very much. Bye-bye. Well, we did it. We hit him with the hind. We finished before the election came. That is it for the Emmys. Don't forget, go online and let us all know how we did. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Party at Dave and Buster's after the show. wife Cookie Johnson shares her astonishing story. I was scared to death. I was scared for him. And then what about my baby? Tuesday on GMA.